welcome to quick automotive diagnostics today we have a chevy cruise and uh, this cruise uh, it's a friend of mine and he has a, a problem with uh, some codes he didn't know what's going on so let me show you the fault code and then start from there okay keys on Let's connect the Zeus and then let's read the fault. Let's connect. And it's a Chevy. It's a 15. Uh, or ID. Oh boy, wrong gear. I'm sorry, this is a 14. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so we select again Chevy. 14. There we go. 118 kilometers. These are kilometers. No. Yeah, kilometers. 118,000 only. And uh, let's check. It's automatic. Okay. These are the fault code in there. I'm sorry, my camera might not be really perfect for the angle but we have a manifold absolute pressure nap sensor um, we have oxygen sensor we have a fuel trim problem idle the idle as well intake airflow system performance we have a oxygen sensor like a lot of issues so uh, if I <clears throat> try to clear this Uh, yeah. Okay, all codes are gone. Now, let's go to the engine and start it and see how it goes. Let's start the engine here. You hear that noise? Struggling, and as you can hear the noise, Okay, that's the problem. Okay, as you heard, there is a problem of uh, vacuum uh, coming from this pot here. So, the main problem with this, there is a diaphragm here, and that diaphragm is ruptured. So, miss, many people think like this is a PCV valve, but it's not. Uh, this one is not a PCV valve. The PCV valve for this is underneath here. And that's where it's located. There's a little uh, uh, rubber orange that is inside there. 
and that's that's what the PCV and that's the common failure on these ones uh, if you go to the technical bulletin they'll, they're gonna tell you to replace this and then uh, the problem will be solved and as you know many people replace these and after a couple you know couple run couple miles and then they will fail again and then this one will will will, will rupture again because there is a diaphragm behind here and then after that the diaphragm ruptures the other the same problem is gonna happen and you'll you, you you're gonna lose vacuum uh, the engine is gonna chuggle like a, it's not gonna idle properly and then you're gonna have this fault code here so those are the fault code that we have right now Remember, I clear the fault code and then I rescan it, and this is what I got. Fuel trim system, lean, of course. Intake airflow system performance. Those are the, the main, the major uh, code, fault code for this particular issue. And uh, it's actually common for these Cruise and Sonic, uh, this Ecotech uh, design engine. Now, <laughs> there's one guy in the US, uh, let me see if I can, I can identify his name, hold on. There is a guy in the US that actually sell this kit. So I told my friend that he can buy this kit and then we can try it out. Uh, it's coming from the uh, Titan Cement, uh, Cementetics, I can't even pronounce that, I think it's in a uh, LLC and no, not sure about uh, US but it's it's a website called uh, cruisekit.com so as you can see their address is right there um, so this kit is so cool let's see what's inside here okay this kit is actually what they call version 3 Okay, it's a version three kit, um, and uh, you actually take care of this problem, <coughs> and make sure you you check if you get everything in the kit. In this case, our case, we got everything in there in the kit. We got our hoses. This is the version, there is a version one, two, and this is the version three. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to install this, this version three on this cruise and see how it's gonna be. So let's open this and see how it goes. Well, he sends us two uh, check valves, and then there is actually a arrow there that you have to be careful with and check the orientation. Um, unfortunately, there is no manual for this. Uh, all he tells you is to watch his video, and you will, you know, know exactly how to install them. We got that, and now he includes this. This is very important, don't lose it. This is very, very important. Um, I'll show you how to use it. And then some alcohol prepared. So we're gonna use this one too. Uh, <coughs> He put in some uh, information that you need to read and he actually refer you to the YouTube if you want to watch his YouTube channel there is you type in and you'll watch that uh, so actually I think this is what they call version 3.1 PCV fix uh, kit upgrade so this is the upgrade version of, of his kit so now 
uh, let's get things started right here okay first thing we're gonna start by removing our uh, evap purge valve here so press carefully press the tab and pull I'll show you once I remove it you don't want to break anything some sort of a tool here to move this probably don't need to Okay, let me grab the plier. Okay, I got the plier. You need to get the plier like this. You know what I mean? It's one of the best. So all you do, you pinch those two sides and then while pulling there you go comes off no problem okay next gonna of course you remove this uh, connector here and then there is a little red this point okay you can take this off already and then what I left with red connect the uh, red tab here that I need to remove okay. don't lose that red tab very important don't lose it you can leave it like that and also don't lose the uh, rubber tube a rubber a grommet I could call it it's under there don't lose that so now this is what we got here and then we're gonna we're gonna work on this and then we're gonna cut it somewhere here according to his video and then we're gonna install um, show you what we're gonna install here this guy okay so according to the video you have to somehow think use your brain as well you don't want to go like this you want to go kind of in an angle like this how we want to connect this one goes here 
and this one goes here. So we're gonna mark here. I'll get a marker soon, but I, I wanna show you. We're gonna mark here and mark here. Then that's where we're gonna cut. And then we're gonna shovel this one on that side and this one on this side. Um, when you replace the, uh, if this one fails, then you're gonna have an issue, but I believe it comes as an assembly like this one. You can repeat the same procedure or you can, uh, you can simply cut here and install like one of the uh, supplied tube, I guess, if you want to. But I'm gonna try to, to go this way, to, you know, try to make it look nice. Okay, let me get the marker. Okay, so I got this marked. And uh, what I'm gonna use is just a razor blade here. I'll cut here. If you don't have a razor blade, you can always use uh, a very sharp knife. But take your time because this is the most delicate part of the procedure. Because if you fucked up, oh sorry, sorry for the language. If you if you screw up, but you're gonna have to buy a new piece, and that is not gonna be fun. I think it's like 916 as the guy said I mean 516 I don't know I didn't measure don't take my word for that but just cut it nicely razor blade cuts really nice okay now the idea here is to put to one side here we're gonna hit it heat heat it and then shove it there okay until he reach that somehow and then the other side we're gonna do the same we're gonna do uh, the same just heat it heat it and then push it on and uh, by theory you should push on you got the idea so that's what we're gonna do right right now okay I don't have any vice, so I'm gonna use uh, this kind of uh, inappropriate method. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but I hope it's gonna work. I'll try and see how it goes. You know the method you use. Uh, the method I use, it worked perfect. Well, don't clamp this too much. Uh, as you see, I just clamp it very, very gently, gingerly. Not too much, otherwise you're gonna crack this. Um, you know, it's not really hard, not uh, rock size kind of method, but. As you can see, uh, I didn't have a vice or any kind of of uh, 
devices to uh, to accomplish this but as you can see it turned out, it turned out perfect and that's what I want look at that but above all the secret here is to lube make sure you lube this part um, what I use my friend I use Vaseline because this one can actually evaporate so that's why I use this one I don't have uh, I don't have uh, what they call a silicone base uh, lube so yeah let's finish up this side and see how it goes gingerly you just clamp here very very careful okay if he, my method I know it's, it's not the one recommended by the designer but you don't don't please force here you're gonna break it okay last piece here i'm using a low settings heat gun that's high low settings nice I think we're done um, the method I'm using I have more control of what I'm doing for sure and uh, you know that way It's easier. Look at that. It's all good. Just like factory. All right. So this one is done. This was uh, this is the delicate part. And now the next one we're going to just mix up this. This thing you know that in the back of this cup there is a, a dimple that you press to open I think everybody knows that okay make sure you clean uh, whatever container you're gonna use I clean this one I will break clean and it's nice and clean Okay, close that. Use the same equal amount. Oops, see I forgot. There you go. That same amount, I could say. You don't need too much. So this one is gonna go on this little button here, okay? 
So let me mix this. All you do, you just mix it up. Stuff they are so gooey. Eh? Sometimes it can be hard to get out of off your hand. Um, Okay, while waiting for that, we can do something else. Now we're gonna remove this uh, the PCV valve uh, tube here that goes to the turbo. Don't lose this. He might. It's a spring loaded. It might pop out, and then you can lose it. So, okay. Once you pop this off, make sure the thing is good down there. Well, that uh, pipe by the turbo is a little bit uh, harder to, to take off, but uh, I'll show you how to get it off. Basically what you do, you squeeze these tabs, his ears, sometimes they are very hard to, to squeeze, but you, I, what I did, I squeeze one at a time and pull, and then uh, gently uh, pry the other side and then it came off because this my friend this thing is so cheesy it will just break off yeah 
so you have to be careful not to break it and this retainer clip it can spring and 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 fly away so make sure you are careful when you are doing this um, the other thing is inside here check make sure the o-ring is in there and uh, this uh, ceiling surface there it's it's not damaged what i'm talking about is this i'll show you In there, I can't even see. Let me bring a light. Okay, I think you can be able to see now. This is the ceiling surface. If you break this, you might have a problem. So make sure this one is it's nice, it's not broken off. And make sure the o-ring inside there is still there. And it's there for sure. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna we're gonna go to the procedure of cleaning um gonna clean the uh, the pot the uh, valve uh, it's located down there and that's the uh, the, the uh, pot we're gonna be working through it's a little bit of a little bit hard but we're gonna see because we have instructions we should be able to do this okay let's get on it okay so I'm sure somebody's gonna get in a, in a difficulties like me here because I'm trying to clean the pot on a vehicle uh, like on a, on a intake manifold here so unfortunately the kit I got for the uh, for the cleaning stuff is not the best I have this big giant uh, toothbrush kind of looking and he ain't gonna go in there. It's not gonna pass that hole at all. It's too big. So, what's the plan B here? Well, if you have an old tooth toothbrush, <laughs> this will work, I think. Because this one, my friend, can go in there. No problem. Look at that. So, I think toothbrush this used to be mine maybe I don't know this will work so I'm gonna show you unfortunately I cannot show you inside that's a downside because it's just a, a hole in there that we're gonna work with and uh, you can't see it down there but if you follow the video um, we are cleaning a little pot that is on this side and that's the, the side we're gonna we're gonna actually block and that's where the uh, little orange thing is located unfortunately i won't be able to show you but if you follow the uh the designer he has a youtube uh, video that shows exactly uh he cut the intake in half and then he will show you you'll have an idea what you are doing because that pot you need to clean it properly and then you should be able to uh, put that little button in there and with the group the the uh, gb weld on it you should be good to go okay now i'm gonna do that unfortunately off camera i apologize for that but uh, yeah that's how it is yeah i'm sorry let me make some correction here um actually the pot it's located this side so uh, that part I think I should be able to show you let me see 
Let me see here. Come on. Okay. Can you be able to uh, kind of see? Yeah, I think you can be able to see those little uh, focus. There's a little port uh, holes there that you can be able to see. Hmm. It's very hard to see because they're on a on a side. Yeah, right there on the side, okay? Right there, toward this side, okay? So you will see the pot, the small holes there on this side. So, yeah, it's very hard to see, okay? That's, that's where they are, and we're gonna clean that up. Okay, so now it's time to get things ready. Uh, I got my screwdriver here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this one, clean it nicely. So we don't have any oil on it and we have some rubber alcohol so I'm gonna use this guy I'm gonna clean this guy here In this screwdriver really good okay and don't forget to clean your hands too because your hands have oil too so thanks to that rubber uh, that uh, pad alcohol pad so make sure you are getting yourself ready for this Now, they give us two, but you, you're going to just only use one, okay? So, take, peel this off, you know, throw away this little paper, and put your screwdriver just about there. Okay, then you peel off this film, it's not stick enough, Okay, that is off, and then we grab our button, put it right about there. Okay. As long as you can hold your screwdriver on that little button, you should be good. So as you can see, I can hold that little button, the whole screwdriver weight, it can withstand it. So you're probably good. 
Now let's go install this guy. Okay, in my case, the hole is located that way. So what I'm gonna do, this is the, uh, this is the most important part because some guys complain that the, uh, they lost this little button. He fell in there and they lost it, but I don't know how, but let's see. Um, what you do, basically you go straight. You know, you go in straight like this until you button, bottom. You can feel you are already at the bottom, right? I don't know if you can see. Then you gently pull up while aiming toward. You should be able to feel when that little button touch the hole. Okay, try again. You know, I wasn't straight. I wasn't straight. Let me try again. Down straight. There. See, I can feel it. Boom. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, damn it. I put it on without the glue. Okay, victory. I was able to remove my button without damaging anything. So, This should be a lesson to whoever is going to do the same procedure. If you happen to, <laughs> I don't know, I've, I've been stupid, I guess. I put the uh, button in there without uh, putting the, uh, the glue on it. So <laughs> what happened is actually it doesn't, uh, it doesn't damage anything. I was able to recover it. And uh, the design, I think, you know, made it so that you can actually, I didn't even bend anything. I just uh, uh, push it down and, 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 and it came out without even dropping it off in, in, inside there. So I, I guess I'm lucky and I'm going to repeat this procedure. <sighs> that was so stressful. Okay, the glue still good. Okay, so I can still hold my screwdriver on it so <laughs> this time I should be able to put my glue on there now oh boy I ever swear I don't know if it's hard enough but Just put as much as you can because what's in there, it's gonna be in there. This time, no pro. <laughs> oh boy, I ever feel stupid. Okay, here we go again. Ah. 
Man, I was shaking because, you know, I don't have, uh, I have to wait for like another two weeks to get the kit from US and uh, <laughs> it wasn't really a fun moment for me. Okay, now let's try again this and uh, I hope for the best. There. There we go. I got it in. Okay. Yeah. Where is it? Right there. As you can see. Yeah. Finally got it. It's in. And uh yeah. That looks good for me. I am happy with that. Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, that was not uh, easy. When you put it on without uh, the GUI and then you have to, to recover it. <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. All right, now let's go to the last step of uh, connecting these together. And we should be done. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now we got our piece ready here. So we're gonna put this one here. Put clamps on. So I like this kit because it comes with uh, everything cut to size so you don't need to worry about anything. Check valve, be careful of this. So this shoulder, this one goes that way away from the uh, evap. All right, so far, so good. Now, come to this guy. just 
See how this thing is just like a, you know? How can Chevy make such a bar? Like, really, seriously? So ridiculous. Unbelievable, you know? Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm gonna take it off because it's, it's now breaking off like. Oh, man, that's so ridiculous. I don't know. I try to save these threads so I don't damage them. I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm afraid I'm gonna damage my uh, my PCV here. <sighs> now it becomes the most difficult moment here than every step I've, I've made because now. Okay, you have to stay positive on this and take your time. What I did, I, I cut with the, with the razor blade this side and then just continue gingerly and I was able to shove the screwdriver here and voila, came off. Perfect. And that's what we need. You know, it's really dry and uh, it cracks up by itself. So it's very, very hard to deal with. Uh, you need to really, really take your time. As you can see, you can see it's just like breaking off like no tomorrow. Okay, so. show you on this one live what I did on the other one so basically you cut here cut 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 You know what, let me put on some lights. Yeah, you can see better. Don't cut the... Uh, 
the thread so you see I'm jumping I'm jumping the threads because you don't want to damage those threads put your screwdriver here don't stab yourself just gingerly pry I didn't cut properly. There, it's off. All right, clean it up. Fred's still good, no problem. Give it a little spray. clean of course boy it's, it's terrible okay so now this is the fun part see they give us this they give us this which is perfect put this one here maybe <laughs> take your Vaseline if you can a little bit here This one is gonna go toward this. My friend Lube is the best. Okay, like that, this guy goes here, that part is done, and that part is gonna be here, put this guy on. Kinda see how it's it's gonna sit already. Eh? We will do some final adjustments when we put it on. Okay, and then this guy will go here.
now the other piece the last piece if you remember this is the one that goes on trouble okay so I believe the uh, the designer he did not show this part like he said oh wait a minute I'll show you the one that is already finished so this is basically what you are missing and uh, if you like this uh, video just subscribe and remember uh, in this video <laughs> I drop my little I put the, the button on it without uh, without putting the uh, the compound on it so that was a really tough moment I tell ya but I was able to take it off all you need is just a small nizzle very long like that I went in there down in there grab it and pull it off I guess I grab on that little um, station part on it and it came off I was like Whew. boy that was a tough one yeah okay so I kind of think the way it's gonna mount and Again, we're gonna do final adjustment once we put on. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, there's a finished product right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me put it here so that we can actually film it. There is to the turbo, to your uh, valve, the one we install a little button, a T there, and then it comes, you have a check valve. Okay, make sure it's pointing the right way. After check valve, then you have your, uh, your T here for your EVA purge valve, and then to your manifold as well there. Here you go. You can take a picture and then you can see how it's gonna be. And then when it cruise itself, oh, I can lay. My battery is getting down. I can lay it here for you. See this one is gonna go here. This part is gonna be there. And this part is gonna go there, and this part is gonna go here, and we're gonna put this one back on like that. This guy here, that guy there, and then we will uh, we will hold here this one here with a clamp, which is provided, and a little screwdriver. Um, I mean screw these guys so we'll put it there and uh, we're done um, I don't know why they send us extra but to be honest with you I don't know where that goes uh, but this clamp and this this is what we're gonna put on on here right here that's where they're gonna go okay yeah but uh i'm gonna change this manifold i have a new one here i have a new one here from uh, from gm so this is what i'm gonna change and then i will uh, I'll show you the funnel, the funnel part. So this one is actually straightforward um, kind of thing. So this one is original, not a uh, dolmen or knockoff. It comes with a seal. And then I'm gonna take this one off and put this one. It comes with a bolt too, so 
make sure you talk this one to 71 foot pounds okay all right i'll show you the final product okay this is the final uh, shot of everything so i replaced the they call it the camshaft cover it's all there um so my uh my purge uh, plumbing as you can see but the the designer should think about this sometimes you it's it's too short not too short but once you connect here you know and uh this guy the the purge valve doesn't go to the to its original location here so what i did is just you know move it on that side and then put a zip tie here to secure it so now it's it's there it's secured i uh, put everything back together plug it in and plumbing here uh, remember they give you this peak lamp that peak lamp um, and a little uh, nylon washer so the nylon washer goes down there i already put it there and that screw goes there so the clamp is there so as you can see my uh, my uh, check valve is there as you can see everything is plumbing goes this way come that way route here and then there's this piece here they give you so one t this way okay it's in nicely okay and then it comes around town and it goes to that area there You're right there you can see very nice very very good design i like it everything's good <laughs> sorry for the uh miss uh information about the torque spec for this it's actually 71 inch pound not foot pound please if you do foot pound you're gonna break it it's a 71 inch pounds eight newt meters which is uh, equal to uh, i believe it's 5.9 foot pounds so as you can see it's a very low torque so please don't over torque this um it's inch pound 71 inch pound okay well thanks for uh, watching this video sorry for my uh, you know bluebird whatever and sorry for my emotion when i i connect my little button in there without uh, the compound on it i was panicking and start swearing i'm sorry for that for that but i was able to fish it out nicely and nothing really broke on it so i put the compound on it and then I put it back on and now it's nice and uh, and uh, tidy there. So yeah, thanks for, you know, watching the video. Please subscribe. If you like this video, comment, criticism, please. All are welcome. Thanks. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.